What, what's been the toughest transition point for you in your rugby career in getting to your position now as captain of Ireland? And, you know, what did you do to overcome it? Um, that's a really good question. And I think I was actually thinking about this and I can actually pinpoint it a year. Um, it was in 2011. And uh, so a long, long time ago and that I had made the Munster under 18s age grade squad and I was thrilled my thrills, got to play up in that loan and got to play in Thurles and got to represent Munster, which was class. And um, the following year, um, Munster trials for the senior team came up and I was like, look, I'm going to go for it and, and, and try it because um, mm -hmm. I was still able to play under 18s as well. So I was like, look, I'll try it. Um, and I actually made um, the senior squad and I kind of went to the start for experience just to see Look, what can I do? And um, I remember getting the email and saying, look, you know, you've made the squad. And I was like, oh my God, okay. So then was, that was actually, it was an amazing point for me, but also quite a scary point in that. I went, so I jumped from my comfort zone of under 18s where, you know, you knew my players, you felt comfortable to go into a senior squad. And I remember, Q, you were you were on that squad as, at the time as well. And uh, yeah, and uh, I just remember that was a big learning curve for me in that I went from playing underage rugby to senior rugby and the big thing for me was learning um so it's how to play the game and how to play it smart and um i remember that 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 campaign that we were training in limerick and i remember i was training alongside these amazing back rows and siobhan fleming joy neville laura guest and um i was a starstruck and i literally was like a sponge in every training i i wouldn't say words um but i uh, just took it all in and I think that for me it was for me it was outside my comfort zone and that I was going into this unknown unknown and trying to suppose put my foot down, put my mark on my mark down but still being respectful and taking all the information and um, that took a while for me and uh, I took I think it took nearly six weeks before I said my first word of training and um, because you know I was like I'm going to just hand back here listen take it all in and just learn the ropes um, and I I really remember that was one of my most enjoyable the toughest experiences in rugby going from the Munster 18 jersey to the senior jersey but I learned so much that has stood to me going on and I never forget that before when my set my first match and it would have been my first cap at Munster um I was eating breakfast pure and nervous and Joy Neville sat across the way from me and I was like oh my god like Joy Neville is eating breakfast with me <laughs> and um and like and she was literally just chatting and I think that really put me at ease and she literally said never be afraid to ask a question and that is something I've taken with me throughout you can even ask now I'll always ask questions I've I've gone from a girl who would never ask a question to actually okay I'm not sure ask it um so that was my so one of my toughest transitions but one of my most was beneficial as well